Why do you believe what you believe? In today's last lesson on the fundamentals of height and living, we're going to cover fundamental number seven, question everything. So before we dive into it, I want to first cover where information comes from because we really have to understand this in order to understand why this fundamental is so important to us. Fundamental number seven is question everything and it's question everything for the fact that we often fail to realize where our information is actually coming from. We say, oh yeah, we've heard this or oh, a news article said this. But what ends up happening is we start to become a gullible society in nature that allows fake media, it allows fake news, and it allows just the mass consensus to push us into believing different things which clearly aren't true. Fundamental number seven, question everything, is that for a reason? We need to question where the information comes from. We need to question who gave us the information and why the information was created in the first place. So that's really what this fundamental is about. It's about finding where the information comes from, questioning its validity, and then using that and using the nature of being curiously curious to really find out what we should have in this life, what information is true, and what our reality is true to us. So that's what questioning everything really is about. It's about questioning the information that comes to us, where it comes from, the validity of the source, and then creating our reality around us and making what is true to us true in the sense of all the information aligns and things actually give us the best picture that we could have. Now, I just briefly touched on it, but I wanna go a little bit more in depth into our gullible society and the nature of our news sources, because that's really one of the worst places that you could ever get information. News itself is not checked by anybody credible. Yeah, you heard that. Okay, there's rigorous processes for it to go through uh, copywriting and there's rigorous processes to make sure that they don't say anything that could legally get them in trouble. But the fact of the matter is they link out to studies and other articles that they basically push off the responsibility to. And then those articles push off responsibility to over and over again. And then we have this hodgepodge of information which doesn't really have any validity or source behind it that is true to the nature of what you're reading. And truth be told, we have Russian groups creating Facebook groups to try to get Texas to secede. We have all these things happening where we scroll through Facebook and we start to believe over and over again because the credibility of Facebook, not the news source, is lending to the credibility of what the news source is. Once we start to question everything, we start to question where this news is coming from, we start to question what our friends are saying, and we start to question things we read, which is a good thing. It's not a bad thing to be skeptical because if you're skeptical in the sense of finding your truth, not the truth, because the truth a lot of times doesn't exist because most things are opinion-based, that's when you start to really create an environment for learning, for growth, for everything. You can create your high quality life because you are going into something and really learning about it. Quality itself, and this is something I like to explain to most people, quality itself is because people were curiously curious. They didn't think, oh yeah, this is just the way it is, but instead they started to question everything. Coffee, for example, and I know I bring up coffee a lot because I'm a little addicted. With coffee and the coffee bean, it's slowly been evolving over and over to this amazing cup. We have all these different methods of brewing now, different grind settings. We have beans roasted different ways. And the reason is someone questioned how the traditional way was and now it's grown over and over and over again and it's become this more complex, amazingly quality-based thing. And that's why I was explaining in the quality lesson that quality typically is just growth. It's just moving more towards what should be and growing in a way that allows for the proliferation of whatever this unique subject or thing is that you're putting quality into. That brings us to who really is behind all this information. They. They, no one knows who they are, but they are this mysterious organization, group of people that don't know each other, that lend credence to all the information that we've ever had. Funny enough, 40% of psychological studies actually can be replicated, 40%. And now stuff like that happens over and over again across all disciplines, across everything. I mean, Einstein himself would go back and forth on refuting quantum physics as existing or not existing. And while he would do that, 
the fact of the matter is quantum physics did exist the whole time. So it's finding these truths, it's questioning things, and it's really understanding the nature of what goes on around us. They is not a credible source. If you ever hear they as a credible source, understand that it is not a credible source. Understand that unless the person, once you ask them, whether it be your friend, a news source, or a speaker who has a high credibility, who they are, and if they don't have an answer for who they are, then they most likely doesn't exist, and you should question the information that they give in to you, regardless of if they're credible or not, because credibility a lot of times can just lead to a lot of people saying yes, or a lot of people not checking the background of who the person is, and they're really just sitting on a house of cards. Now, I gave you a lot of skepticism, and you may be wondering, like, how can I actually find out if information is true or not? And well, I'm gonna dive more into that in the future of heightened living and really getting those higher leverage skills. One skill that I like to build is basically fact-checking information with other information. And so a way to do that is an exercise, actually, that Ray Dalio of Bridgewater likes to perform which is called triangulating information. And so by triangulating information, you take three sources that all are going towards the same information and you use them to basically fact check each other until you can come to the conclusion in the center of what your truth is based on these different articles. Now, now you could think of three different news sources which are completely against each other. The middle is most likely gonna be the true story, but the more that you see like a news source lie to you over and over again and you still believe them, that's the more you're falling into their gullibility trap. They know they have you as a reader, you think they have credibility, even though they've been lying and things have been disproven that they've been saying, but you continue to believe them because X or because Y. Now, when you start to triangulate information, you don't hold that emotional or that belief system with the per with whomever you're getting the information from, but instead you become the person who is getting the truth of the information, which is a great thing because that allows you to actually take hold of your reality, to take hold of the information you have and to find your truth over and over again. That is one of the highest leverage skills. So this is fundamental number seven, questioning everything. I hope you enjoyed the whole fundamental series. If you haven't watched any of it, go back to the beginning. Fundamental number one, higher leverage skills are worth more and watch through the whole series because it's really a mindset. And this mindset is something for you. And if you start to understand it, you start to think a bit differently. And this thinking allows you to understand that you have full control over your life, your reality. You can use these higher leverage skills daily and you can make your life high quality. I wanna thank you for watching this series once again. Make sure to comment below something that you're questioning right now, whether it's a conspiracy theory or whether it is your nature of reality. Make sure to press like if you like this video. Otherwise, please subscribe for more content like this. It really helps me grow the channel and make sure that I can provide the best content for you. And I'll see you in a video real soon.